African queen believed that a man cannot be romantic without money. You know, African woman can pray for a husband because they are cheating to be poor. Have you heard? I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried. Hello, wonderful people. Welcome to Enough is Enough Day 3. Oh my God. Thank you guys so much. I don't know. I just watched my... I, God, 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 God. Looking at the views on my second enough is enough i was like god god what can i do i know this is just coming from genuine people trying to encourage me that's why they're watching my videos or maybe probably sharing it somewhere else so that i will get rid of all this imaginary rope taking me out from this whole thing oh god thank you guys so much thank you for your love thank you for your support i don't deserve it and i feel guilty sometimes i don't even have much time to watch every other people's video oh my fellow youtubers that i used to support i struggle a lot but i wish i can take you guys along in my life i wish i could just open up that much and show you guys what is really happening behind camera it's not that easy honestly but gosh oh god thank you thank you for all of you out there making your effort to watch my videos and at the same time drop your comments and like and many more things that you're doing that i can't even see i am i cannot see it but god almighty is watching and he's the one that will reward you all thank you so much god bless you all i appreciate i cannot carry on saying this thank you because if i carry on from the my heart was just beating i was like i know this is just an encouragement views i know my subscribers are feeling my pain i, I know this is why i'm getting these views i'm getting now and oh god and i said lord i'm grateful you let's get into the video today god bless you all god bless you all thank you so much today's video is a requested video and if you're tuning in for the first time welcome my name is cheesy i'm a mom of three based in uk and i'm also a nigerian african mama okay so and if you're wondering what is enough is enough and you're just seeing the video for the first time i will encourage you to find the link below on this video so that you will watch day one day two to catch up with what we are doing okay so right today's video is a requested video and this video has been requested long ago but recently when i did request and asked that you guys should drop your suggestion and feedback on what content you want me to create the same person who also inboxed me on my instagram reminded me to create this video which we are going to talk about today and that reminds me if you're not following me on my instagram what are you waiting for it will be nice i would love to connect with you guys all there please this is my IG handle. Join me there and say hello to me. I am looking forward to see you very soon there. Okay, thank you. So last year I did a video what a, um, what um, a Nigerian man is expected of you if you want to win their heart. So this year we're going to talk about the opposite. Someone requested for me to do what a Nigerian African queen expects of a woman. The way to the African queen heart. So that's what we are going to talk today. Disclaimer, this video is for fun and I do not want anyone to start speaking English on the description box telling me I'm talking nonsense or anything. But you know what? If you think I'm talking nonsense, out of every nonsense, there is a saying. And I believe some people, some ladies still expect and still believe that a man should be doing these things. I'm going to be saying in African Nigerian country. Yes. It doesn't happen to everybody so don't go and generalize and say this is what nigerian women are like okay so it's for fun okay no negative energy no negative vibes my number one thing that you my guy should be aware that an african queen expect of you is to watch your words when you're talking to them make sure your lines of words are really very sound polite sweet romantic respect and good sense of humor if your words are falling opposite of all these things an african woman heart is locked now that time you will know that african woman can talk for africa 
they will finish you with their own mouth and then next time if anybody tell you to talk anyhow to an african woman eh, you will think twice before you do it you will even be embarrassed of yourself so make sure you guard your words and think before you speak to an african woman because these babes do not take any nonsense no matter how shape or color it comes they are ready to really deal with it one by one -ta 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 -ta. number two when you now eventually wins this heart of an african woman you you two of you become in a very serious relationship married that the whole family and friends know that you are the king and the the king of the queen of africa automatically brother an african woman expects you to know that you are one of their families and she's one of your family too you need to get her involved in everything about your family there is nothing that you will do african woman do not want you to have time for you and your family or discuss anything with your family without getting her involved so you have to know that if you try it that is the beginning of your war in your relationship hmm. don't start no, number three which also get involved with the family as well when you become the king of an african queen automatically let me tell you another one ha. the african queen family expects you to be brother uncle father mother to the home african queen do not expect you to only marry her if you're marrying a Nigerian African queen, you're marrying her and her family. Did you hear me? That's what they expect you to do. Don't say when their families, when their relative and their siblings or father or mother come to you with their problems. Don't say no. You guys should go and solve it. African queen do not like that. They expect you to give a listening ear and they expect you to get involved. Are you hearing this is it too. so know what you're getting yourself involved and you're getting involved spiritually physically financially whatever way it is even gifts you must be there if their siblings cannot pay rent let me give you an example it is your right as a husband to help to find a way to pay that rent if their mama is sick it is your responsibility as the african queen African king for of Africa for African queen to make sure that the hospital bills are cleared and make sure that you come down to every traditional every traditional rite or event that is happening in African queen's house. Hey, you must be vovo big time. And let me tell you another one. Your house is the African queen's family house. They have the right to come in and go anytime they like. You don't say call me first before coming. Hey, <laughs> Jesus. Hey. You don't say call me first before coming. And listen, whatever it is that the African queen is doing to their family, you must support. If you don't support, African queen is going to be upset. Even the family will come after you. Be one. Another one is this. I think I've lost count. Number four. An African queen expects her African king to be fine boy. Hey, hold on. No. Uh -uh. What are you showing off? Fine boy for face. Uh -uh. Six pass. Uh -uh. Big chest. That's not fine boy for African queen. No. An African queen definition of fine man is nothing but your pockets. African queen expects you to be hard working have currency had currency get some cash that's what makes an african queen find you romantic oh. let me tell you african queen believe that not just that your that the fine boy not their money african queen believe that a man cannot be romantic without money no matter how romantic you are you're not gonna be sweet if you don't have money african queen believe that so make sure you find yourself something doing to be able to take care of the african queen and meet all her needs 
and you know like i said previously the needs that you're really going to take care of is not just for the african queen or the babies that she's going to have for you it's extended to their siblings their cousins said so make sure bro <laughs> If you are a cheerful giver, African queen like you, bro, make sure your hands are like this, okay? Make sure you work hard and then get your hands up like this. You are the African, real African king for an African Nigerian queen. The next one is one of the ones, the ones I said on the main own, which I said in the main expectation that an Igbo African man expect a woman to leave their marriage or relationship if he is caught cheating on the woman and at the same time expect a woman to leave their marriage or relationship if the woman is caught cheating <laughs> that's their belief oh i don't know i'm not the one saying it to now a woman do not expect you to cheat but listen they know that men cheat some men cheat let me put my words right but may god help you let an african queen not find out that you are cheating the good part of it is this they will not divorce you they will not leave you but your case is finished <laughs> you will pay but if it is the prayer prayer one ah even you know african women can pray for a husband because they are cheating to be poor have you heard ha. they will pray to god to take away the money because they believe it is your money that is making you cheat on them an african woman can pray any kind of prayer on a man when caught cheating you're on your own i'm only a messenger don't shoot the messenger my next point is also coming from the one i said on the main expectations i did say again for you to win the heart of an african nigerian Igbo man the stomach is heaven to his heart is the key to his heart so if you know how to cook and at the same time you make some effort to know how to cook some nigerian delicacies hey no matter the tradition no matter which country you come from the nigerian man will take you but in the opposite of african queen expectation for any man of any type in different words an african queen expects you to know how to cook at least know how to make noodles indomie and cup of tea is very important it's not that an African woman expects you to do all the whole chores at the same time, but an African woman expects you to help. Help small to wash the dishes in the play, in the kitchen. You know, help little by little. Because African women also understand that it's a woman's responsibility to make sure that the house is kept clean. A woman make the home and keep the home. If you get yourself an African queen and along the line things fall in, fall in line and you two agree to say, I do, marry each other. Let me tell you what you will be expecting. Eh? I married an African queen. Get ready to buy 1,000 tubas of yam, 50 cows <laughs> and many more things. Get ready to pay bright price, fat bright price. And more especially, if your African queen is the type that has been invested in education to be HD and even have a good living, hey, let me tell you, most of the complicated African queens are the ones which are very, very high class, first class, the first class ones. And let me, you have to really get ready. If you are marrying first class African queen, you pay bright price and you will pay bright price that you used to build a brand new house honestly not to even talk about the wedding an african queen expects you to do everything they want you to do on their wedding day to buy the highest and expensive wedding dress an african queen expects you to buy the 
whole, uh, the whole village as should be and their friends. An African queen expects you to put your hand when you're marrying them. <laughs> Where you cannot go. It has to be a exotic wedding. If you cannot afford it, don't go. An African queen do not like their wedding to be managed and done in a very simple way. They don't like that language. It has to be exotic. Let me add a little bit more on money. An African queen expects you to pay all bills. It is the man's responsibility to pay the house rent. Bring food, money, food, and at the same time, pay woman's needs. Ah, ah. It's a woman's responsibility now to chop man's money. That is an African queen belief. Let us add a little one I just remembered now. Finally, this one is the last tip before I go. An African woman expects you to take your time on the bed with them. Don't rush them. Take your time and do your job on the bed. You know what man and woman do on the bed? I'm not going to talk too much so that YouTube will not demonstrate. I'm, I'm back here for YouTube for good. I don't want I don't want to attract YouTube energy, negative energy again. Oh. <laughs> so take your time. And you see these things you guys watch on TV. Do not use it on African woman. An African woman expects you to take your time hmm? when you're together. Ask her how she like, what she wants. Don't rush African woman. The same African woman also expects a man to always start anything about man and woman things on the bed. African woman sees it to be a sin or a bad thing for a woman to start asking for man and woman thing. So you see, I'm telling you now, don't look at it that she don't love you. It's just the way they think. It's just the way they are being brought up. They don't feel comfortable, you know. Asking you to come now, let's do the thing we do for bed. Man and woman do. African women do not believe or think like that. So expect that your African queen will always be ready for you when you are ready. And all you have to do is give a sign. Don't use the one you watch on TV to practice on African woman. Because the African woman might at the end of it start thinking that you are possessed. The way you they do the man and woman thing for bed. That you are possessed by this spirit of... <laughs> and then you will see. You will become a prayer point for African woman. You just have to study your woman. African, your African woman. When you are doing... When you people go on the bed. Study her and see the way she do the thing. That way, two of you go enjoy her. <laughs> Don't shoot the messenger. That was it. Thank you guys for watching. If you like it, give this video a thumbs up. Click on the thumbs up button below. And don't forget to subscribe, share this video, and make someone laugh today. <laughs> oh, let me know what you think about this video. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye. It's a cars on the beat loading.